Hey WCHS, welcome to the 11th show of WCTV this season. I'm Seth Krauthamel. And I'm Tristan Nicholson. With Christmas right around the corner, some students are stressing out about the, getting the perfect gift at a cheap price. Some people are so busy with sports and other extracurriculars that they can barely find a time for a job. Approximately 50% of students in high school have a job. Popular student jobs are working at grocery stores, babysitting, lawn care, and working in restaurants. Having a job in high school can be very beneficial. It teaches kids how to balance their time and between school, work, sports, and friends. It also helps them manage their money, especially around the holidays, so that they can buy presents for family and friends. If you get a job in high school, it helps pr provide work for the future while well, practicing, practicing applications and going in for interviews. Jobs can help your communication skills and will help you when you are looking for a bigger job later. Riley Lawson got the, the scoop on popular student jobs in Webster City. I'm Chris Elliott and I work at Farm Journal. Go. I'm Erin Anderson and I work at Fuller Hall. I'm Chelsea Egger and I work at Hy-Vee. My name is Alex Oswald and I work at Fairway. I'm Maddie Anderson and I work at Fairway. As you can see, many high school students have jobs. They take jobs to take up some of their spare time they have. One of the most common jobs in Webster City is working at Fairway. We have a first-hand look at that from our friend Kurt Greenlee. difficulties would be trying to find time to work and do my homework at the same time. I just try to do my homework on time and keep working so I have money for gas. I worked here almost four years. I started working when I was 14 and I'm 18 now. There are some tremendous difficulties involving being a student and also having a job, but the need for a job is just too much to take. Now, if you excuse me, I got to go to one of my own. I'm Riley Lawson, reporting for WCTV. The number one motivator for kids to get jobs is so that they can buy their own things. Teens want to buy clothing, cell phones, tickets to concerts and sporting events, and music playing devices. Every year, teens spend around $239 billion. Video games are extremely popular purchases for the young and the young-hearted. Just last month, Halo 4 was released and sold 3.1 million copies just on release date. In just one day on the shelves, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2 blew past $500 million in revenue. Playing video games is a subject of wide controversy. Research has shown that video games have quite a few advantages but still have vi disadvantages. Video games can increase your visual accuracy and peripheral vision can be enhanced. But some people can become extremely addicted to video games. They don't go to school or work because, they have a, because the video game is so addicting. The right kind of games can be productive to problem solving. Adventure, puzzle, and word games are all helpful. Playing video games should replace, shouldn't replace physical activity. You should still go outside for fresh air and exercise. There are a lot of pros and cons to gaming, and Dylan Greenfield has the story. Movies nowadays, you can, you can get them anywhere. Netflix, Redbox. Video games, you, they're just booming. They're growing at an exponential rate. And to be honest, people are going crazy for them. Gaming is part of everyone's lives, whether it's playing console games on your couch, playing on portable gaming devices, iOS devices, or social gaming on Facebook. Consoles have really jumped out at the consumers lately, giving people new apps like YouTube and Netflix and other stuff like that. It really broadens your horizon when it comes to media. As of December 5th, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 has sold $1 billion worth of games across all three platforms. Based on my experience, I'd say definitely the first person shooters dominate the gaming industry right now. Your games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, those are just a few to just name off. Christmas is just around the corner, and games like these are perfect presents for the gamer in your household.
I'm Dylan Greenfield reporting for WCTV. Keeping physical active, active is critical for staying healthy. Experts say at least 30 minutes of physical activity is the absolute minimum. Some kids in high school stay in shape by participating in sports. Recently, the WCH team hosts the Dick Kennedy Memorial Meet, went to Iowa Falls last Thursday, and host Algona last night. The WCHS boys and girls went to Clarion last Friday, and Tuesday went to Algona to play Bishop Garrigan. The NAH teams went to Troll on Friday night and played CWL on Saturday. Adults have their own variety of physical activity. Brisk walks, swimming, and adult league basketball are all popular activities that get the heart rate up. Some teachers get together and walk around the school the, or go on a trail a after work. There's a lot you don't know about our teachers. Calzon has a juicy fact about one teacher in the high school. After that, Trevor Claver gets the story on how our sports teams are doing th this, this season. school. I worked at a golf course in Sioux City and uh, we knew something bad was going on because we heard a lot of like we thought it was thunder and rumbling and it was an airplane crash. It was like 2.32. Uh, I worked at the golf course and the airport was near the golf course and we were outside and we saw the plane come over and we saw it land and um, 111 people died. It was a pretty sad day. The WCHS boys started the season with a non-conference loss to Fort Dodge, but they have since picked up a win against Clarion Goldfield. They are now 1-4. The WCHS girls started the season with a non-conference loss to Boone, but picked up a win Tuesday night against Bishop Garrigan. They are now 1-5. The NEH boys started the season with two straight conference wins, but have since cooled off and are now 3-2. The NEH girls started the season with a non-conference loss to Prairie Valley and are now 2-4. The Lynx wrestlers have grappled themselves to a 3-0 dual record. This has been Trevor Claver with Pause for Pause. The wrestling team goes to Fort Dodge tomorrow and Forest City on Tuesday. The WCHS basketball teams host Eagle Grove tonight with Varsity Girls tip-off at 6:15. They will travel to Fort Dodge on Tuesday for the St. Edmund to face the St. Edmund Gales. The Northeast girls and boys basketball teams will play Meskwaki and Colonesco next week. Good luck to the teams as they continue their season. Habits can control our life. Good and bad habits are everywhere. Some bad habits are smoking, drinking, chewing your nails, and being excessively late. Research says that you can cut out a bad habit with a series of checkpoints. One at the 30-day mark, 90-day mark, and one year mark. It is important to write down what you want to accomplish on paper so that you are really committed. It's been proved helpful to replace a bad habit with a similar good habit. Only focus on one bad habit at a time. By trying to change just one habit, the changes are more likely to stick and become good habits. Dylan Rose has some information on bad habits. Zane Woodle is a junior at the Webster City High School and he has very many bad habits. But along the way, he has also shown us he has some good habits, too. Collecting things and not getting rid of them and uh, not organizing what I already have. You get a lot of stuff, and sometimes you find stuff you didn't realize you had. And uh, it does bring a fair bit of money into it, too. So it's always a nice habit. In the two tractors and the... Uh, Motorcycles and moped, I've got about probably anywhere from 25 to 40,000. Probably about six months. I uh, try to clean it as often as possible, but I just keep getting more stuff and I've run out of space to put everything at. I don't plan on fixing anything because it's worked out so far and I actually do know where most of my stuff is at.
and one of the most occurring bad habits is biting your nails. About 44% of adults bite their nails and about 30% of children of ages 7 to 10 also have this bad habit. This has been Dylan Rose reporting for WCTV. Don't forget to go to the sporting events next week. WCTV will be live on our show next week. Starting at 7 p.m. next Thursday the 20th, tune in for some laughs, live musical entertainment, and a fun music video. Good luck with finals next week. We'll see you next week for our second annual Christmas show.